Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to explore the um, power menu and examine different options. So today the first option of the power menu, first of all the power menu is the menu you get when you right click on the start button or if you press and hold if you've got a touch device. And so this is the power menu and we'll actually take a look at the different options in this power menu in the coming videos. So the first one, programs and features. What is it? what can you do here? Well, Program and Features is the place, first of all, where you'll find all of the installed programs on your computer. Now, this is only programs that you've installed, not apps from the Windows Store, for example. No apps from the Windows Store ever appear here. This is really only the programs you've installed off of CD, or maybe you've downloaded from the internet and installed on your computer. So you can, of course, uninstall anything that you see here that you might not be using anymore for example so all you have to do is simply click on a piece of software you don't want anymore and click the uninstall button at the top follow the instructions so there's uninstall a program that is from here there's also um, as it says here uninstall or change a program because some programs have different options so for example when you click one here uh, in Microsoft Office for example you've got change that is uh, more options basically available. Some programs not only have an uninstall button, but they'll also have a button, for example, to fix the program. If there's something wrong, well, you can have it, you know, checked out and maybe reinstalled by itself or fix any problems that it has. Also, in this panel, you've got View Installed Updates. Now, this is another way of seeing all the updates that you've got in Windows. But what's interesting here is not only do you see updates from Windows, uh, as you see here, the security updates and so on, but also updates of installed programs. So here, for example, I've got an update for Adobe Acrobat Reader. So it means that there was an update installed and it shows in the updates also. So this is different from the um, you know, checking out the, the history of updates in the settings because this one will show you also the programs you have installed, which one have updated themselves, which is nice. And the last feature that it, we can see here is turn Windows features on or off. This is really the core of Windows. You can turn on or off different, um, you know, programs and uh, functionalities of Windows. So, for example, uh, some people might want to remove Internet Explorer 11. What you'll do is remove the check mark here, and you'll see that your computer is going to work, and it's going to remove, actually, Internet Explorer 11 from your computer. And if you want it back, all you have to do is put the check mark back, and it's going to come back and reinstall itself. So you've got here different features of Windows of all sorts, and depending on what you have installed, there could be more features than you see here, or less features than you see here. And of course, you've got these little plus signs that show you've got all sorts of features that can be added uh, in these submenus. So depending on how you use your computer, sometimes somebody might say, oh, you need to, for example, add a Telnet client to your computer in order to do this or that or to log in to our uh, company computer, for example. So uh, usually this is where you add or remove these services on your computer. So that's a quick look at what we have to offer in the power menu when you go and click Programs and Features in Windows 10. Now, this is also available in Windows 8.1. So if you are on Windows 8.1, you can also right click and follow most of these options um, as we go on in this series of video with the power menu. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, problem, why not share them with us? We'll try to help you if we can. By subscribing, you will know when new videos are online, and we typically post many videos every day, and almost every day of the week. And hopefully, you enjoy our videos, and we'll come back.